Hey guys, welcome back. It has been a really long time since I've sat down and talked to you guys. So without taking forever to get into this video, I just want to sit here and tell you that we're going to sit down. I'm going to bring you up to speed on everything that has happened as far as recovery goes, what happened after I had Jaden, some issues with feeding, and then towards the end of the video, I'm going to talk to you guys about like my future plans and schedule and what I'm gonna do as far as my channel goes so definitely stick around for that if you guys have not watched my labor and delivery story definitely check that out I'm gonna put it up here somewhere watch that before you watch this if you're interested that is I'm not gonna force you to go do that this is probably the like 11th time I've tried to record this video and I'm trying really hard to stay on track and focused Jaden is napping right now and I probably don't have much time left at this point because I have been trying to record this for too long. Let's get into it. After I had Jaden, I want to say the first couple of months of his life were tricky because A, I had a little bit of postpartum depression. B, a lot of that was caused from sleep deprivation. So I had my sister-in-law come over one night the first week that we were home and she got up with him during the night and I got a solid like seven hours of sleep. And I felt like a new person. It's amazing what a big chunk of sleep will do for you. I felt way better. I was able to go forward and manage myself from then on out. So I got up with him at night. He obviously, you know, ate like every three hours in the very beginning. And it slowly was like twice a night he would wake up. And then slowly but surely it was like one time a night and eventually around four to five months old he stopped waking up completely at night and slept the entire night and that was around the time that I moved him from our room to his own room because he was in a pack and play by our closet for the first four to five months of his life that way he was close I could hear him but once he slept consistently through the night I felt comfortable moving him when we brought him home, like I said, I was very emotional, of course, that's to be expected, and it's just a really big adjustment, you know? Going from one to two kids, for me, was a little bit hard because I had to figure out how I was going to take care of them both and bathe them both, get them both to bed, and, like, make it work, you know? I can't do it both at the same time, so for a while... For a long while, I would put Riley to bed first, that way I could focus on Jaden. And she was not fond of that idea, but I had to make it work. Whereas now, I'll put Jaden to bed first and then I will take care of Riley because she has a tablet now, she got one for her birthday, it's actually right here. And obviously I don't let her play on it all day long, but especially towards the evening when she is waiting for me to get her ready for bed, I will give it to her that way she has something to do. And I will get her to bed second. So it's definitely been an adjustment and obviously things have not been staying the same the whole time because I did things a lot differently when Jaden was younger versus now. And the other really big thing is that for me, I had really bad gas pains after I had Jaden. They were pretty bad in the hospital and it felt worse than my actual incision because I did have a c-section again. I continued to have gas pains at home and I just I willed them to go away and eventually they did. It took a few days but finally they were gone and I started to feel a lot better. I want to say in a week I felt really really close to normal. I was still sore and tender but I was able to move around so much better and I was supposed to avoid stairs for a while but it was pretty close to impossible considering I had to take care of the cats downstairs and get Riley to bed upstairs and there was one point where I felt so good that I was going up and down the stairs and Jared was like you're not supposed to be doing that and I'm like I'm fine it's fine nothing is happening nothing ever ripped open or tore honestly I swear by these the mesh underwear that they give you in the hospital I don't really like it because the pads just move around when you move around the best thing to do is get some freaking Depends. Wear some adult diapers because it is a game changer. It absorbs so much of the blood that you are leaking for like up to six weeks after you have a baby. And 
you don't have to worry about it like leaking out or moving around and you just change it every you know so often so that's what I did obviously it felt weird for a long time because I am wearing an adult diaper you feel really gross and nasty after you have a kid for a while and it takes a really long time to feel normal again but it eventually happened around the time that I made my labor and delivery story video I want to say around that time or a little bit after I had issues with Jaden and him eating I felt like I was always feeding him and a lot of people were telling me oh it's cluster feeding you know it's normal well it turns out that the bottles I was using were the culprit he would take like an hour to eat sometimes even longer and he would fall asleep while eating because he was getting tired from all the sucking and I would go to lay him down for a nap and like 15 minutes later he would wake up again and be hungry so it was it was a lot it was difficult and I eventually realized hey I should try a different bottle and see what happens and that's exactly what I did world of difference he ate the whole thing in like 30 minutes or less he was actually full he was happy he took better naps everything started to get better he was consistently you know napping I was getting more free time I had time to, to color my hair at one point I remember he slept like two hours and I was like holy crap you know I just colored my hair in that time period so things do get better and they definitely did get better but around that time as well we got a puppy but essentially I knew getting a puppy was not a good idea because puppies are a lot of work. They are, in my opinion, harder than babies. They are definitely harder than babies. You have to constantly take them in and out to go to the bathroom. And like babies, you just, they have diapers and you just change them. It's, your babies don't pee and poop all over the place and your, your puppies do. And then, of course, the first week that we had him, he whined and cried all night, and that is the reason why I wear earplugs. I started wearing earplugs because of that. I could not sleep through it. Once you're a parent, I feel like, or a mom in my case, every little noise wakes you up. You are no longer a deep sleeper. You are a light sleeper. It's just like the mom brain switches everything it happens so that way, you know, if your baby is up or whatever, you hear it. Whereas men, they just sleep through everything. And somehow he was sleeping through the whining and the barking and I was losing my marbles. So I got earplugs. I still wear them to this day because if I do not, I notice a huge difference in my quality of sleep. If I am not wearing those earplugs, I just, I hear everything and it wakes me up multiple times. And those earplugs, they don't eliminate everything, but they eliminate all the little weird noises that you hear. I still hear Jaden wake up in the morning with those in my ears like it doesn't eliminate everything so they're great you guys should definitely invest in some if you uh, are having issues sleeping these are the ones that I use they are noise reduction rating 32 so there was a point where I wanted to make YouTube videos so badly but I did not have time because my time was literally taken up by taking care of the kids and the puppy and myself and the house and there was just no room anywhere in my schedule to make videos so that is a huge huge part of why it took me as long as it is taking for me to make this video to make any videos in general I eventually made my husband realize that the puppy was not a good idea and that we needed to give him a different home because we were not giving him our full undivided attention as much as he needed it. Just for reference, he was German Shepherd. German Shepherds are very, very hyper and high strung and they need a lot of work, like a lot of training. And we just, we didn't have the time. Even if we were to have taken him to training, we would have had to continue to do it at home. And we just, with a new baby, we didn't have the time. We were just always coming and going and it was just not ideal so rude comments aside we did what was best for the puppy and that's all that matters he is in a better place he is getting everything that he needs and it's all good so moving along he is the reason i did go back to work i was supposed to be a stay-at-home mom 
but I went back to work because the stress of dealing with everything every day, like the same thing over and over, I just, I hated it, all right? Like, I don't like change necessarily, but doing the same thing over and over and over again, you start to forget what day it is and you lose your sanity. It was really important to me to go back to work so I could at least have an adult interaction and do something other than taking care of an animal or children. Granted, I miss my kids when I'm gone, but it's really nice to get out of the house even if it is to deal with other people. I have also colored my hair multiple times. If you guys can't tell, it's a different shade of blue. It used to be like blue blue and now it's teal. I have discovered my favorite color to color my hair is an aqua color. I I did it sometime after I had Jaden and I've just fallen in love with the color. It was also green on my ends so that's why this is like a different shade because we did the underneath a green color. I feel like I'm gonna just do all aqua again when I have time. In September for Jared's birthday we did get a snake. I will have to show you guys him in a different video because I'm running out of time here. We got a um, blue-eyed leucistic ball python. He is a few months old, maybe four. I don't remember exactly. I haven't really been keeping track of how old the snake is, but he is definitely getting bigger. Well, Jaden's up now and he is crying. We also got fish, and this was entirely like my wanting. The snake was Jared's. I wanted the fish because when I went back to work I had to take care of the fish tanks and it made me really really like guppies and I know they don't live long and it is what it is but I wanted a fish tank so we have a 10 gallon fish tank and I'm probably gonna have a video up soon about like doing a water change and adding plants but essentially that's all that has happened we have been without the puppy for a while been going to work things have been adjusting quite well and I am slowly but surely catching up with life and things. I don't feel as I don't feel like I'm drowning as much as I was before because I was constantly behind with like dishes and house chores and laundry and I'm finally catching up. There's just some bigger projects I want to work on soon. The basement is slowly but surely getting adjusted to be more comfortable to be down there. It's not finished and it won't be for a while, but I am doing things to it to make it more comfortable to be down in there, if that makes any sense. And I will definitely have to update you guys on that stuff in another video. But I am going to hurry up and wrap this up because Jaden is a little upset right now. I, going forward, want to upload every Saturday. So this video hopefully will go up later today, and it is Tuesday, so I am going to also put a video up on Saturday, so you're going to get two this week, and as long as I can stick to it, hopefully I can. I'm usually not good at following consistency, but in the past I was never able to come up with a schedule that would work, but in my mind this one will because I can record on Mondays, which are my day, one of my days off, and I can edit the video throughout the week can work on it a little bit on Monday and then I'll work on it the rest on Thursday and Friday and have it scheduled to go up on Saturday because I am usually off Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that's what's going to work for me and hopefully I can stick to it. But anyway, that is all for this video, I think. I just really wanted to catch you guys up to speed. Going forward though, the next few videos are probably going to be older videos. So if things are different and the kids are younger or whatever, just know that I will put dates in there when the videos play of when they were. So just be prepared for some older throwback videos of like me vlogging or trying to vlog. And uh, eventually I'll be caught up. But this is like the present day right now. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!